Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm back with my rolling project pan update and I have four empties for this update. I'm really, really excited about all the items that I've finished and I am rolling in four new products. I mean, not new, but four products in their place. And my overall goal for all of the products that I work on in this project is to finish them. I don't have any sort of usage goal or hitting pan goal like that. I just want to finish whatever I bring into this project. I can't wait to share all of those empties with you guys. But before we do that, if you are new here, please consider subscribing to my channel. My name is Rufni and I make a lot of panning videos. I have substantially managed to decrease my face products category because I finished a lot of the products and this update is going to add on to those empties. So let's take a look at our very first empty which is this CoverGirl Clean Fresh Foundation. I only had a tiny bit of foundation remaining in here. So I cut the tube open and I managed to get the last drop of this foundation. I'm really excited that this is now done. It took me 19 uses since last update to finish it up completely. This wasn't my favorite foundation, but I'm glad that it's done. This is something that I got this year and I finished it this year. How often does that happen? After finishing this, I'm only left with one foundation. So that's my ABH liquid foundation. That's the only liquid foundation that I have in my collection. That is exciting. And staying on CoverGirl Wagon, I finished CoverGirl Clean Fresh Powder as well. It took me additional 18 uses to finish it since last update. I repressed it a couple months ago and I pushed it on the side and I repressed another powder into this pan just for ease of use and this is how it's looking like today so all of the cover girl powder part is finished we are only left with this powder it's a loose powder that i pressed in here and i really liked that cover girl powder i would wear it all the time to kind of set my face down and that's the reason i got this foundation because it's from the same line but i really didn't like it with that the powder is done i'm left with three powders or four hmm. i'm left with four powders now including this one two of those powders are trial sized products so i can finish them if i really concentrate but i'm in no rush to finish them because i can easily use them for traveling purposes the other full sized powder i have is the elf powder foundation full coverage so yeah that's i'm at with my powders and moving on to this one i used it a total of 21 times since last update i think we have managed to make some movement here but nothing prominent it is a little bit substantial i guess but it's not out of the world progress but this is where we are at. I like it. It is a little bit more pink cleaning on me, so I can only use it under my eyes. Sometimes I use it to set my blush. That's what I'm doing today. I have it topped off with my highlighter, of course. I'm not wearing any foundation or concealer today. I have only been wearing this powder and then I have my other MAC powder in my deck of panning that I'm using to kind of brighten my under eye area a little bit. So for that purposes, I really like it. And another product that is on the verge of getting done is this ColourPop eyeshadow from Mandalorian The Child Palette. I'm working on this eyeshadow called Precious Cargo and I've been wearing a lot of this eyeshadow. I'm not wearing it today, but I would wear it in my inner corners. I would literally top off my lid shades with this one. And I used it a total of 19 times since last update. And this is how it's looking like today. We only have tiny bit of product remaining in here. And I think I'll be able to finish it by next update. I'm super, super excited about that because it's a super shock sort of formula. And I wanted to finish it before it kind of starts drying out completely and gets more crumbly. So I'm glad that I'm making such a good progress on this ColourPop eyeshadow. I don't think it'll take me another 19 uses to finish it, but we'll see. That would be my goal to finish it by next update. Next product is our bronzer. I think I have expanded pan on this one. 
not that much but i've still expanded it so i used it a total of 20 times since last update this is my elf primer infused bronzer in the shade called forever sun kissed and this is how it's looking like after those 20 uses i'm really content about how this is looking like i wasn't hoping that i would make this much progress within one year on this bronzer but I managed to do so. All of the product that is remaining in here is on the edges. I'm not looking to repress this powder right now because I can still access the product. So whenever it gets more thinner or maybe narrower, I'll probably repress it then. But I am a little bit hopeful that I might be able to finish it by end of this year. But again, I think it's going to take me a lot longer to finish it. Maybe four months at least. Let's hope it doesn't take that long. I'm just speculating considering how slow it's moving. But 20 uses, not that bad. And I've been making consistent progress on this NYX Jumbo Pencil. So last update, if you remember, I had it sharpened until the pencil text. And this update, I've been able to make more progress on this one. And that Jumbo Milk Pencil text is all gone. I think I made good progress on this pencil this year. If I continue to use it the same way I'm using, I might be able to finish it next year. I am mainly wearing it as an eyeshadow base that's been working pretty well for me and i used it a total of 24 times since last update so i have amped up my uses from previous months because i wasn't reaching for this pencil a lot in summer but last month i was able to reach for 24 times next empty is this wet and wild impossible primer i only had to use it nine more times to finish it up completely i also cut it open and grabbed last bits of product from the tube last update i didn't have a lot of it remaining i was speculating that i'll be able to finish it all up which i did but we will be rolling in another primer in its place which is the last remaining primer in my collection so i would want to get the primer category all done because i really don't wear them i really liked it because it was a lot cooling on my face i think i really liked the cooling part but other than that i really don't care about wearing base makeup that much but yeah this is done so next is the lip product it's my lipstick that i've been working on for such a long time and then i frankened it i mixed it with another lipstick and i put it in this tube it is all done i mean not exactly so i was able to finish it until this plastic part and then i've been digging it and using it that way so i used it a total of 25 times since last update i might repot it into like a pan and then use it because it's been a challenge for me to use it this way because i have to like dig it out with my spatula and then clean spatula afterwards so that's why it's a bit hassle but 25 uses not so bad i really like this color on me i'm not wearing it today though but i'm happy how far i've come with this lipstick so i'll do that and i'll try to report it by next update next product is something that i'm not reaching for that often i don't know why but i'm not gravitating towards it and that's the eyeshadow from tammy x revolution palette so i rolled in this eyeshadow called mass to use it as a blush but i quite did not do that i only reached for this eyeshadow 11 times i've been using it as a blush but i think that's the reason i'm not gravitating towards this eyeshadow because it's not a nice blush shade for me it's a lot darker and it has a deeper base i would say like the undertone of this blush oh it's not a blush it's an eyeshadow it's very deep for me so we'll see how i might make it work for me but yeah 11 uses on this eyeshadow and we are on to our last empty which is this milk mascara it's milk makeup kush mascara it only had three mils of product in here and then i removed its stopper last month and i was able to get as much product as i could and i used it a total of 28 times since last update this is all empty like the product doesn't come out i've been trying to rub it it's all done with finishing this i'm only left with one mascara in my collection of course that is unopened but i'll be using that and after that is done then i'll probably look out to buy a new mascara
this was a very successful update now it's time to roll in four new products so let's take a look at the very first product that i'm rolling in which is this lipstick called swoon if you recall it it was in my partners in cream project pen and all of the top lipstick part i'm using as a cream bronzer this is actually the lipstick that i dug out from this packaging because i wanted to put my franken lipstick here so i kind of moved the original lipstick here <laughs> but yeah i want to use that part there's not a lot of it remaining in here i think i should be able to get it done by end of this year that's why i've rolled it into this project this is from aoa studio and it's called swoon the bottom one the original lipstick to this packaging is called flirt but my focus would be to use up swoon or what's left of it again i'll mostly be using it as a cream bronzer so this is how it looks like all blended and i think it'll be a nice bronzer shade for me also i wasn't reaching for this one during summer but now the weather has started getting a lot colder and i will be able to use it as a cream bronzer next product i'm rolling in is this my glam primer i cut it open not because there was little product remaining but the reason is that this is a plastic packaging and it was getting so hard for me to squeeze the product so i cut it open and there is still a lot of product in here i'm mostly using it as a makeup remover there's an ice cream truck again it's so sad to see the ice cream season coming to an end. I was saying that I'm using it as a makeup remover because it doesn't dry out faster. So I'm able to melt my makeup with this one and then just wipe it off. It's kind of my first step of double cleansing. <laughs> but yeah, I will try to get it all done. But let's say if it dries out before that or if it doesn't get done by end of this year i'll just simply declutter it but i think i should be able to finish it as a makeup remover last two products are exciting ones so i'm rolling in these two eyeliners if you remember them i was working on these two eyeliners in my deck of panning last year i had just gotten them at that point ever since i got them i've been using them a lot and most importantly i'm using them together so you can see these are almost the same size what i do is i reach for one pencil let's say and then i put them next to each other i'm like okay this one has more progress, this one doesn't. So I should be reaching for the one that doesn't have as much progress. And that's the reason I'm able to make progress on both of them. And I wear these pencils in my waterline. I really love wearing pastels. Let me give you guys a swatch. this is how both of them look like and these are from aoa studio i love the colors but sometimes they get crumbly so i just kind of squish them back but nonetheless i still love them for the color and i'm rolling them in because i would want to finish them eventually so we'll see how much progress i'll be able to make on both these pencils and those are all the four products that i'm rolling in and we have four empties I'm super, super excited with how much progress I've been able to make within this project. That's all I have for today's update. Thank you so much for sticking with me until the end. I hope you have a wonderful day or night, depending on when you're watching my video, wherever in the world you are. I will see you in my next one. Until then, take care. Bye.